So I noticed that CPU A in my Mac Pro 5.1 was running really hot, getting up to the 90 centigrade temperature. And CPU B never gets that hot because it's not doing as much work. But, you know, I recently upgraded to 5690s from my 5680s, and I noticed right away that it was just running so much hotter. So I thought I'd try some different thermal paste and I bought some Arctic MX-6 link in the description on Amazon and I do get a kickback from that link if you purchase it. And we're gonna give it a test, see if it does any improvement over the old one. So here I am removing the heat sink from CPU socket A. And uh, as you can see, plenty of thermal paste on there. Uh, in the 2009 model, the CPU always sticks to the heat sink when you lift it out of the socket there. So be aware of that. You want to get all the old thermal paste off the CPU and off the heat sink. Get yourself a nice microfiber cloth to clean off the CPU and the heat sink and some isopropyl alcohol. There she is all cleaned up, looking nice and shiny. And check the back side, make sure there's no lint or anything on there. And also, I like to look at the socket and make sure no little bits of old thermal paste or dust has gotten in there. Now we drop the CPU back in with the two little indents on the socket there, lining it up. And now we're just going to quickly clean off the heat sink. Make that nice and shiny and new looking. And... Uh, I have a loose wire there because of disconnecting my the little connector on the heatsink way back when when I first got this computer. So I am using double-sided 3M tape to glue that sucker down in place so it doesn't move around. Now always don't forget to put this little plastic spreader back on. And now we put the thermal paste on. And I do it this way. This is what Intel tells you to do with Xeon processors to put a line down the middle. And then when you put the heat sink on there, it just spreads it out across the entire CPU. Uh, and as you can see, when we removed it earlier, it does a pretty nice even job of spreading the thermal paste. And I think there was enough thermal paste in there. I just don't think that brand is, is that great because um, it was running really hot. So now we're just going to put this baby back on, tighten her down, do a little crisscross action. So now we're just running the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark and uh, it's a pretty CPU heavy game. It uses the GPU and the CPU and as you can see, the Arctic MX-6 is running at about 75 centigrade where the old thermal paste is running at about 90. So that's quite a big difference, almost 15 centigrade difference in temperature. And uh, you know, I've run this several times and basically it stayed pretty cool. Now, I don't get higher frames per second, per se, but there are more frames rendered. So I installed this stuff around February 4th, and as you can see, my idle temperatures are running much lower. And when I push the computer hard, it's not hitting 90 or 100 even. It's staying below 80. So it did make a pretty big difference. CPU A is feeling pretty cool right about now. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me that thumbs up. The link for MX6 is in the description. And I'll see you on the next MacSound Solutions video.